This is our second Robo Hockey Bot, and just like your sister bot, this hockey puck flinging beast is custom designed to look just as good as it performs. Her mean geometric angles provide a fierce outline, while her internal design leaves no lack of functionality while within the arena. The cover itself is completely 3D printed and was designed to be as practical as it is strong. The shell is near to solid in composition of 3D printed plastic, assembled and strengthened by epoxy and aluminum alloy screws on the underside. Vents on the front allow the robot to cool during the heat of battle, using the massive and tough brushless fan incorporated into the rear of the cover. On the side, two hinged doors allow rapid access to the battery and power system which allows the cover to remain secured to the frame for all basic operations. Although primarily consisting of plastic, the cover is capable of taking multiple pounds of force alongside impacting blows, all for the purpose of protecting the powerful vitals of the robot itself. Our hockey bot is designed to literally punch its way through the competition and to hit as hard as it possibly can, it utilizes an absolutely shocking electrical circuit. The circuit itself contains four major components, all powered by a nickel metal battery hidden behind the left side door. The first component is the capacitor charging board. This module allows us to specifically select a voltage to charge the capacitors to, which has let us maximize the voltage flow into the kicking system. The board also has a fuse capable of protecting the circuit from overcharging of any sort. The next component is the power behind the kicker, the dual charging capacitors. These capacitors are mounted on self-designed 3D printed risers, which allow room for airflow to the motors below. The capacitors are wired in series to maximize voltage over the capacitance of the system. This is the best choice to make as the voltage is only needed momentarily as we kick the puck, hence why we chose power over length of charge. The third component is the button box, which was also 3D designed to hold a button and a servo which allows us to open and close the circuit manually through the transmitter at any point in time. The final component is the kicker itself, the long stroke solenoid. This solenoid develops an electromagnetic field using the current provided by the capacitors, which sends a metal rod screaming towards the puck positioned in front of the solenoid itself. On average, the system can shoot the puck over 100 inches and charges completely in less than a second for the next shot. We also made sure that nothing could stand in the way of our hockey bot. The competition either moves out of the way or we go straight through them. The motor system was carefully crafted with three key aspects in mind. The weight we would have to move, the friction we would need in the arena, and the force presented on the axle. The bot itself weighs in at just over eight and a half pounds, which is quite a bit for a bot under a foot in length, width, and height. We knew from past experience that we would need to use a gearbox alongside a brushed motor to get the job done with the correct balance of speed and torque. The first gearbox motors we selected became almost useless. A breakthrough occurred when we decided to go beyond our expertise and craft our own motor system. We bought new gearboxes, this time with a 1 to 40 ratio, with the same useless motors that we immediately set aside. Combining that gearbox with 30,000 RPM motors from past HockeyBot iterations, we knew we would be spinning at exactly the RPM we would need, this time hopefully with enough torque to move the robot and its load. A 3D printed adapter plate and a specially milled pinion gear successfully secured the two components together, and our motor system was born. After mounting the motors with 3D printed brackets and even a bearing for frictionless support, we were almost ready to start moving. The axle we designed is 3D printed and tapped, strengthened at the core by an M4 screw and secured by a vertical lock screw directly to the motor system itself. For maximum traction, the axle carries a tried and true touring car tire, which adds agility and speed in the arena, moving the robot at speeds up to eight feet per second. And now, it's time to show you what this robot can do. Thank <laughs> you.